As my aunt Lava Inia always says, there's nothing like a raging river of molten rock. And this red hot lava is really moving. It's much hotter than boiling water and may travel for many miles before slowly cooling into solid rock. <laughs> How can you tell when a volcano is angry? It blows its top! You can turn the music off or on by clicking the radio. It's time to take chances, get messy, and make your own volcano. Click the buttons on either side to pick how thick the lava is and how much gas is in it. Then click the go button to see if your volcano makes a little splatter or a big blast. High gas. Medium gas. Low gas. High gas. Runny magma. Runny magma. Medium magma. Thick magma. Congratulations! You've created a Plinian eruption. What a blast of gas! Look at that huge eruption column. Medium gas. Medium magma. Look at that lovely cinder cone. Low gas. Runny magma. Go! Hawaiian eruptions create hot, runny rivers of lava that can go for miles! High gas! Medium magma! How stupendous! A Strombolian eruption puts on quite a show and it can go on for months or even years! Presto Changeo! Want a new nose? You can change your face. Anything goes. Woohoo! This is where you can dare to compare. Click a button on the left of the screen to choose one of these real life volcanoes. Then click one of the buttons on the right to explore rock and ash, lava flows, sound, and fantastic features. Then click the go button and see what happens. It's time to do some daring comparing. Mount St. Helens, Mo Mauna Loa, Krakatoa, Eldfell, Krakatoa, Lob Rock and Ash. In 1883, an Indonesian volcano, Krakatoa, erupted with such force that the wind spread volcanic ash all over the world. Hundreds of miles away, day turned into night and people had to turn on the lights. Lava flow. When Krakatoa erupted in 1883, there was no lava flow. Instead, there was one bombastic blast. That's what happens when pressure builds up under a lava plug inside the central vent. Sound. The eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 made one of the loudest noises in history. If Krakatoa had been in California, people all the way to New York would have heard it. Fed fantastic features. When Krakatoa blew up in 1883, two-thirds of the island was swallowed by the sea.